Hey there, this is Seth, retipster.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what to do when you get a text file that looks like this, where it's just a complete mess, there's just data all over the place, and you wanna get this into an Excel file and start organizing it and separating it into different columns, but how do you do that when it's just this massive block of text? So all you have to do is open up the text file, and if you're on a uh, you know Windows PC, you can right click, and you'll probably see something that allows you to select all the text in the entire text file. Or if you're on a Mac like I am right now, you can do the exact same thing just by putting your cursor right up at the very top left of the text file and holding down Command, Shift, and then the down arrow. That's gonna automatically select everything. And then uh, I'm gonna right click, copy, and then we're gonna go over here to Microsoft Excel. And right up here, we're going to highlight column A, and I'm going to click Command V on a Mac. And again, if you're using a Windows PC, you would do Control V to paste all of that data right here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and say okay to this. And uh, we're not done yet, but if we want to take this information and very neatly break it up based on where all of the commas are inserted in here, it's really easy to do that. So the way this is currently set up is all of the data here is living right here in column A. It's all stuck in this column. So if we want to parcel it out, we would go up here and click on this data tab and then click text to columns. And we're going to select delimited because in this case we have the luxury of commas or tabs separating each field. If we did not have commas, we could try to go with this fixed width option, which would parcel it out based on where the spaces are. But I think in many, many cases, when you have this situation, you are gonna see commas in there. So I'll go ahead and click next. And then we're going to uncheck tab and check comma. And that's the only one we're gonna have checked here. And we'll click next and just keep it here on general and click finish. And it's gonna take a second to compute because this is a massive text file. But as you can see, just like that, it does uh, split everything up into us really nice and neat. Just the way we would normally expect to see this if we were downloading this kind of data from a data service of some kind. So if you do run into a situation like that where you get just a horrendously messy text file like this, don't fret, it's not the end of the world. Microsoft Excel has you covered. So, and then from here, you would just go ahead and continue sorting the list the way you normally would. And also keep in mind, this is like sort of an extreme example. If you were ever seeing a list where, say there was a number of different names, I'll just create one here really quick for this example. So let's say you get a list like this, where the first and last names are stuck in the same column, but you wanna separate them. So you could just use the first name or just the last name if you wanted to in some kind of a mail merge or what have you. So you could do the exact same thing here. This is just a much simpler version of the problem. So we'd go ahead and select this, go back up here to text to columns, delimited, comma, general, and finish. And there you go, does the same thing. So really, anytime you're trying to separate out data that's all stuck in the same column, as long as there's a comma between those data points, you should be all right. And also keep in mind, if we just undo this, so let's just go ahead and get rid of these commas to see how we would deal with that. So similarly now, if we go over here and hit text to columns and then delimited, now we can also check this space option. So even if there's not a comma, it will also do the same thing for a space and then do it that way. And I think the potential problem you could see in this case is, say if one of these cells had like a full street address in there, like one, two, three, anywhere street, and the other cells had like a first and last name. So in other words, if there's not a consistent number of spaces in all the cells you're trying to separate, then it's gonna kind of mess it up because you're gonna have inconsistencies there. So I think the comma option is obviously preferable assuming you have the commas there. But if you don't, you may be able to still make it work or at least get you part of the way there if you just have spaces between that data. And I gotta think like 99% of the time, I don't know why you wouldn't have one or the other. And also keep in mind, if you happen to be using Google Sheets for this, say for some reason you don't have access to Microsoft Excel, uh, it works very much the same way. So I just took that exact same text file and pasted it right here into column A of this Google Sheet. And similarly, you can go up here and see data. And I'm just gonna go down here and click on split text to columns. And the thing I've noticed with Google Sheets, I'm not sure why, probably because this text file is so huge, is that uh, it goes a little bit slower, it needs a little bit more time to process what's going on. So just be prepared for that if you're using the freebie version of Google Sheets. But also keep in mind, Google Sheets is another viable option. So there we go. Uh, took, I don't know how many seconds that was, but it finally happened. 
and it does work and I'm not seeing any issues in there. And uh, I actually find it interesting because I didn't have to tell it to separate it based on commas or spaces. It just kind of did it. Uh, anyway, the point is it works and it's another viable alternative to Excel in case you don't have it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.